Hey Vapors, this is DJ Zana here, and today we'll be working on getting this SSD to work in this Dell Dimension 5150. Now, one of the first few, like I saw this just uh, in my daddy-in-law's garage, and uh, I asked him, like, hey, you mind if I uh, mess with this, probably upgrade a bit and try to get this working again? This so, thing is probably 12 years old. Yeah, it's got a Pentium 4 HT, had like 2 gigs of RAM, 4, 5, 12 meg sticks, and uh, yeah. So, <laughs> take that for what it's worth. Trying to do this all one handed. Hold up. Yeah, so basically, when the, looking at basically the PC equivalent of what is the Power Mac G5. What I mean by this? Giant ass heatsink. And it's a Pentium 4 HT, which these things are known. These are actually the first hyper threaded processors from Intel. And they run hot as balls. So, now it's just a matter of seeing what kind of video card this is. Now, mind you, this SSD. Actually, I took, or I originally had planned to use that Dell uh, Inspiron laptop over there, but since I kind of figured I could make that sucker into a little media box, I was going to try to do the same thing with this, um, but uh, basically this has Windows 10 already on it from installing it on the laptop. We'll just see if it works on this thing. And hopefully it doesn't bitch at me that it's supposed to be a 32-bit OS when it's a 64-bit install. So, um, all that's left really is to... Because I, I want to get into Windows so that way I can figure out what video card this is. I know it takes PCI X16 cards. So thus, in theory, we probably could drop in my... Didn't Radeon you say RX 550. This was also the Media Center model? Yes, this is the Windows XP Media Center Edition, uh, Dell Dimension 5150. And, uh, which leads me to believe that this might actually work even better with OpenELEC, uh, which is a open source Linux oh, kernel that, um, there's like just enough OS to run code or formerly known XBMC and basically turn this thing into what it once was which okay media center that that got dropped by Microsoft and of course Windows XP got dropped like a bad habit by Microsoft as well so thus XP is unsecure unless I find uh, this I think if it got upgraded to Windows 7 at some point, who knows? But even that's going to be losing support here shortly. Um, so now we're going to, I'm going to have to use her setup to be sort of a guinea pig to test boot this thing and see if it even still occurs. Which makes me kind of mad, and I wish he wouldn't do it. But. Do you have to do this while I'm home? It hurts me to see you take apart my baby. I'm not fully taking apart this PC. I'm just unplugging the power keyboard, mouse, and um, VGA. Oh, I know because his com camera has the flash on, you can't really tell, but my PC is pink and red. Which, shameless plug, I did a 
video all about my PC on my channel. So, if you guys want to see that, he'll probably link it below. Oh, yeah. Also, well, where's your wedding ring? Uh, I don't have it on anymore. I noticed. I only wear it when I am going out in public. Or when we're on face cam. Watch my controller. Also, excuse the mess. We're still trying to organize. Literally, guys, to get out of here, I'm going to have to walk on the bed. Yeah, these Dells are a little bit of a pain in the butt to, uh... Disassemble. Do you need a drink? You're welcome. Yeah, what wife would sit and hold the camera while her husband does PC repairs for an hour? This one. Mm -hmm. Or however long it takes for me to get ready to go. So, do you still want it to be recording? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was my speaker. Are you gonna plug in my monitor? Yeah, I plugged it into your monitor. chance it might be, you know, dead. Maybe, it's 12 years old. I've seen Greenham Gaming. This was my first desktop. I've seen Greenham Gaming and uh, Multimedia J get PCs from like the late 1990s. Early 2000s. Yeah, uh, running, and this is my Delasaurus project. To make a note, um, and kind of a reference to Multimedia J. And of course, my intro is a pastiche on Drago 1. Who I listen to on a nightly basis on top of Multimedia J, because I just love listening to tech stuff while asleep. Yeah, he's got cozy phones, don't worry, it doesn't bother me. I've watched um, numerous videos from uh, Carrie Holzman, um, who does PC repairs, and has his own podcast called Tech Bits. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to pull that other. Uh, where is it? Better. 
wonderful. Are we working with some proprietary... Holy shit. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. That's what the real mystery is. So, folks. credit for some ingenious camera management, but they've done some really weird trickery over the years. Now, <laughs> ready to see possibly the biggest CPU. Also, like, on Earth. Watch, watch out, babe. Look how dusty the inside of this thing is. See how big this CPU cooler is? That's just for the Pinion 4 HT. Now granted, the Power Mac G5, its cooler was about from here to here. So, and yet this thing still runs hot. If I can get it running at all. Okay, seems like... Okay, standardized power supply. Probably just the power supply that is toast. And this thing just needs an MPSU. And so I think all the other connections are perfectly fine. I don't really receive So do you have to order an MPSU? I could probably get a new power supply unit. Although I do have that uh, 480 watt uh, Rose Bowl one uh, kicking around. Well, you can try that later. Yeah, so. But oh well, we <laughs> we tried. So an initial kick up, if you will. But uh, we'll be back in part two later. <laughs>